keywords also so if you user say yes then it will again come here it will check that whether answer equal to yes if it is yes it will keep on repeating if it is no or other than yes then it will stop it will check that condition is false then it will come out and it will stop functioning so in this way that loop function works and then next type of loop is repeat loop so that is uh, you can give fixed number of just we will open one example so in this repeat loop you can say how many time you want to repeat the loop so there is no condition but there is a fixed number so we will just load this example and see how it works so command is again loop so we will uh, we'll just erase it we will give loop then is asking how many time to repeat suppose i want to repeat three times then enter the length length is 3 height is 2 so pick start point so it will keep on doing it three times it has done that so we have uh, said it that we want to do it three uh, repeat three times so it has repeated that code three times so in this way so we will just see what the program look likes so here we have taken from the user how many times to repeat then we have passed that number so for repeat left parenthesis is there repeat function is there and no is there no is the variable that we have accepted from the user so this repeat has been closed here that you have to keep in mind you are closing here and in between you are writing the lines to be repeated by the repeat function so here it will check that and it will repeat that as many times as we are given in the no variable and it will stop functioning or you can write a fixed number also if you want you can also write a fixed number i want to repeat it at five times so there is no need to take input from user for uh, how many times because i have already decided it should be done five times so i will load it so i will give loop command loop so length height and it will repeat first second third fourth and fifth so it has uh, repeated that fixed number of times so you can in this way you can define how many so those are the two basic types of loops so we will stop here thanks for joining